Good morning. My name's Caressa Roof. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed this class. I was a little nervous to do a class fully online, um, and this one proved me wrong that I can do it and I can learn a lot and take a lot from a class that's fully online. Um, throughout this course, I chose to do simplicity for my value to live out. Um, that was an easy choice for me. I've had a pretty rough couple of years. I became a single mom and things have been really tricky and challenging. Um, I won't bore you with the details of that because we'd be sitting here for way longer than five to ten minutes, but um, I knew right away that um, after watching the minimalist video um, that you posted that that was definitely the one that I wanted to choose and I was already leaning toward it before that, but then that really made me feel solid with my choice. Um, so I guess why is because I felt very overwhelmed and stressed out, um, especially this semester for some reason. And um, it's since it's been such a complex year for my family and the dynamics um, and a re really a year full of growth for many people probably, um, I needed to figure out a way to make my own life less stressful and like my own world. So, um, you know, like learning things that I can't control and what I can control and things like housework that were getting out of hand and so much schoolwork and all my kids' extracurricular activities and weekly and daily errands were becoming a lot. Um, and I thought by trying to live out simplicity, it would help me feel less stressed and be more present. Um, yeah. So, um, okay. So the first thing I did was declutter all of our closets. I started with my children's closets. It sounds like something so simple, but purging a bunch of stuff and getting bins for their closets and making it um, easy for them to know where things go has been such a tremendous change in our lives. They are helping me with laundry and putting it away, which means I get less time. Um, they are able to keep their rooms clean because everything has a spot. Um, we actually removed all toys from bedrooms, which I think has helped with their anxiety and I feel like they're sleeping better. Um, and we made like a toy area in our basement instead that has actually stayed fairly organized. Not all days, not every day, but a lot of days. Um, and we created an area for our books, which has been great because when we're reading at night, it's easy to go down and choose one and then put it back. Um, so it, that's something really little. Um, I feel like the overflow is stressful and so many choices is stressful, especially for the kids too. And so it was nice. It just feels nice to have that be one less thing. Um, next, we organized our calendar. I bought a calendar, like a whiteboard calendar. And we wrote down all of our activities and appointments and assignments. And I think that's something simple that I probably should have done a long time ago. I just thought I could remember everything. And as I get older, I realize and we have more things I can't. So um, something simple yet effective. Um, next, I started working with families in the community to um, carpool our kids to all the practices because sometimes it's impossible for me to get three kids across town to different practices, especially this time of year with baseball, softball, tournaments, and cheerleading, which is over now this week. But um, yeah, and it has been amazing. Um, I feel like I'm not constantly running right after school. Some days if someone else picks my kids up, I can just hang and make dinner and maybe work on an assignment and it's really nice. Um, again, I think this offered more time and a little bit more freedom and it was helping other people as well because I, I'm part of the carpool so I pick up some kids and drop off some kids as well. Um, quality over quantity is something I really focused on as well. Um, not just budget, but that, that is part of it too. Um, so I had my vacuum break and I bought a cheap vacuum. I, I buy a lot of things that are lower priced just because I am on a budget that's pretty tight. And um, anyways, I my, when mine broke, I decided to do reviews and I got one that had great reviews and I'm hoping the quality means it will last longer, which is one less thing to stress about. Um, and then also like for Easter this year, I decided to do a lot less stuff, but stuff that I knew the kids liked instead of just like filler stuff. Um, and that was awesome and they had the best Easter. Um, it was a beautiful day. We did have a stomach bug, but we made it through. Um, and then this also means with friends and time uh, quality over 
quantity. Like our time is so valuable. And one thing I've learned through this simplicity and putting it into different aspects of my life, it's like time is a big thing and living more minimalist um, in a minimalistic way, you're able to have more time for things that really matter like family and friends and sometimes that does mean saying no to other obligations or just saying no to things that don't necessarily fit right now um but yeah um and then finally I decided to slow down so we decided not to rush back to doing all of the things since the COVID restrictions have been lifted not necessarily because we're fearful of COVID-19 but just that our time is so valuable and um, over the past year we realized we really love to garden and bake and just spend time together and dance and listen to music so we're trying to do more of that and less of planning something every weekend if we can help it um, so basically while living out these small yet effective forms of simplicity I feel like I've been a lot less stressed um, I feel happy and relieved and I feel like I'm living more in the moment. Um, I think once you begin living your life this way, it's easy to continue. Like, I just want to keep adding stuff to make my life a little bit simpler um, and my kids' lives. I believe it helped everyone in my family. Um, the freedom feeling that it's brought has been the best part, I think. Um, it's like a big sigh of relief, and it's given me more time to relax. Um, I started even reading a book. I've had a little bit more spare time, so instead of just doing school books, I've been reading a book that I've been wanting to read for a long time. Um, so that just shows that I'm able to like balance things a little bit better. And things have generally flowed more easily since living my life with simplicity and doing it intentionally. Um, this course has given me so much and I think the main thing that I took away from this is that there's joy in the in-between moments if we're able to be living in a way that um, requires us to worry about so much more. Less is more. People say that all the time, but now I really understand that. Um, so for in closing, I'd like to just share a very short poem that I found and um, I actually wrote it on a post-it note and stuck it on my mirror. It says, minimalism, adore the essence of simplicity. There is joy in living with less. And I think if I've taken one thing away, it's definitely joy. Um, joy in all the chaos. And um, yeah, thank you.